What's up YouTube? Welcome to another Superior Auto Craft review and actually doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be looking at some shooting glasses. I don't think a lot of reviews are posted for that type of stuff. So I thought maybe we could uh, dabble in that a little bit and see what comes up. So basically we're going to be looking at the Revision Eyewear Hellfly Ballistic Sunglasses. And to kick it off, I just want to ask why do we shoot? What purpose do we have? Why do we hunt and target shoot and three gun and all these fun things? And I answer to look cool. Obviously that's why we do this. So you gotta have sunglasses or shooting glasses that look cool on you. This is kind of a crucial thing. This is pretty easy to figure out. So in all seriousness when we talk about eye protection there's some basic uh, requirements. Obviously we want to have um, ballistic protection. I mean when you're talking about firearms there's a lot of things that can happen and a lot of things you might not consider that can cause problems. But beyond that even if you are outdoors doing a variety of things you can be hunting, you can be fishing, even doing housework. We'll come back to that later. But there's definitely a lot of things that require good eye protection and it's often neglected and I think a lot of times because the options are a little bit bulky, a little bit heavy, and sometimes just not very comfortable. So basically what I was looking for in shopping around for some good ballistic sunglasses was to have everyday frames that function in a variety of roles. So there, I'm looking for goggle features in actual sunglasses. So, let's look at these and see how they measure up. First of all, you'll notice that we have the hard case, hardish case that comes with the Revision Eyewear glasses. And then inside we have the soft case that also doubles as your cleaning cloth. So that's kind of a nice feature there. And then we have the actual glasses themselves. And you'll notice immediately when people see these, they think they're sunglasses. And these are already a little, I use these extensively, I wear these every day. I wear these every day and so they're a little gummied up, they're a little, they've had a lot of use, they've had a lot of love, and they've held up wonderfully. I've worn these for many months now, actually getting closer to a year, I believe, and they've functioned fantastically. So I can't complain from my personal use of these. But let's talk a little bit about these features. I mean, I know I talked about the uh, the case and the soft wrap. There's a few things that are really important to me. One is polarization. And these are polarized sunglasses. I live in a place where I have really bright sun reflecting off of lots of surfaces. And I also like to fly fish. So for me to be on the water, you got to have that polarization. And I'm out in the desert and we have massive sun glare and having that available is crucial to me. So 99% of the time I'm gonna pick a lens with polarization even if it's a shade darker than other lenses. But there's other things to consider as well. These are non-prescription but you can get prescription glasses, uh, prescription lenses installed. You just gotta fill out the form, ship it to revision, uh, mail it to, fax it to, email it to revision and they will have those prescription lenses for you. You'll notice that there's a rubber nose piece, it's not a rubber bridge here. So you can see that? No guarantees on the camera focus. This nice rubber nose piece is actually adjustable. So there's a, most likely a metal wire in there. And so you can adjust it to fit the bridge of your nose if you like it to sit high, if you like it to sit low. I've got a fairly prominent <laughs> pointy nose, so mine's pretty high and narrow, so it sits up and secure. And this actually goes a long way in keeping these glasses secure on my head so they're doing a lot of work here and it, it really um, spreads out the pressure around your head to you know make these very comfortable okay so there's the nose piece the th arms are fairly thin and maybe not quite as thin as they could be but this is an important consideration when you're shopping around at different glasses options because these are going to slip if you wear muffs for your ear protection if you're not using in-ear protection Anything that is going underneath that muff, so if you have this cupped over here, anything that's going under that is going to impact your seal around your ear. 
Okay, so you're going to kind of decrease the effectiveness of your hearing protection when you have um, that type of circumstance. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Excuse me, while I adjust my backdrop. That's one thing to keep in mind when dealing with that type of situation is the, the width, the uh, thickness of these arms. Okay, so the other thing that I love about these is you'll notice how far this wraps around. You can see from the side here how far these wrap around. And I have, <laughs> through my extremely scientific tests of holding a finger to the side of my head, determined that there's no impact to my peripheral vision. I, I have negative, uh, no, no, um, nothing gets involved here. I, I have complete peripheral vision. The one thing I will say, there's a slight degradation uh, with these at the bottom of the lenses here. If you're looking down your nose, there can sometimes be a little bit there, but 99% of the time I'm just going to tip my head and it's not going to be an issue. So, uh, I love these partly because of their strength. And remember how I mentioned house projects? Well, part of the reason I haven't had a chance to put up any videos and I'd love to post more is, uh, you know, I kind of have a lot of things going on and between my uh, studies and my work and doing things around the house it's very very difficult to find time to do reviews. I'm trying to get more posted I'll uh, have time off this winter and then my major house projects are kind of on the back burner for now but I have <laughs> I had to re-roof the whole house uh, we saved lots of money doing it ourselves but these glasses, I had uh, tucked them into my shirt and was doing some things and leaned over and these fell off my shirt down the house about 20 feet onto the concrete below. And all that it has to show for it, I don't know if, even know if you can see it, is some very tiny, tiny scratches here. And this is, I've had numerous drops, numerous bumps. I'm not really delicate when it comes to my gear, unfortunately. These have held up admirably. I mean, these are definitely very strong glasses. They have your regular ANSI, uh, mil spec, all your wonderful um, ballistic and blast protection. You can check out online through uh, Revision Eyewear's website, but they meet and exceed all these specifications for uh, eye protection. So that's one thing to keep in mind is the type of protection you're getting. You have other cheaper glasses you can get, but they're, again, I said I want goggle, uh, capabilities in a sunglass frame and these really deliver in that regard so you can get cheaper shooting glasses but they're only going to be for small arms when you're playing around uh, at the range they're not really designed for hard use and these are very very tough and have handled a lot of my mis uh, a lot of my mishandling has been taken care of by these I think the single best feature of these is weight one ounce these glasses weigh one ounce and obviously frames shouldn't be that heavy anyway but these in particular I, I love the, the weight and the comfort so they're fantastic for that regard and the price I think is very agreeable uh, right now these are $79.99 I believe $79.99 on Amazon through Optics Planet and they're available from a variety of retailers that's a great price given the features if you look at other similar models from competitors a lot of times they're going to be twenty thirty forty dollars more expensive than these revisions so i've seen them even as cheap as sixty something odd dollars shop around see what's available you know and see what other you might want a different brand or you might want a different style they make a variety um, and also ordering these rapids planet there's a massive selection of lenses available that's what's really nice different frame colors different lens colors uh, you've got your whites, your tans, uh, red lenses, blue lenses, mirrored lenses, all sorts of options available. And that's really nice to give you that flexibility for doing that. So that is something to keep in mind when you're looking around is also what type of lenses do they have available. Me, I always got to go with the polarization. I, I don't like the glare. I always need something to help me fight that glare. So a uh, couple recommendations I would make. The tension in the arms, and this is um, always a nitpicking situation for me. These are kind of floppy, and obviously they weren't that way originally. Out of the box, they were rigid, and I really like that because, as I mentioned, I tend to tuck these into shirts or on my bag. I like to just tuck these into the Molly webbing. I like to put these up on my head when I'm not using them, and having stiff hinges keeps these in place, and unfortunately, these have sort of worn out, so I have to kind of be a little careful. They can easily fall out of, of bags, etc., 
and just kind of a thing, a small thing, but something to keep track of in regards to that. Uh, the other thing I'd like to see is negative hinges, and if you wear eyeglasses, you'll know what I mean when they have the ability of this hinge to go beyond being straight out so you, you don't accidentally snap this off and that would be something nice to see and the other thing is there's some uh, some adjustability these are very padded and comfortable by the way there's some adjustability here some flexibility but I'd like to see a little more adjustability in these arms for the sake of comfort and different kind of uh, facial structures skull structures when you're dealing with wearing these so that would be a nice feature to have and lastly probably something that's not gonna happen but if revision happens to stumble across my humble little site and listens to what I say, some type of lens interchangeability would be great. Now obviously because these are sunglasses style, you notice this is all a sealed unit, but I think it'd be doable. I'm sure the price would go up, go figure, but it'd be nice to have interchangeability because once the sun goes down, which happens very fast out here, and you're stuck with these dark lenses, then I gotta switch out to the more dorky looking traditional shooting glasses. But we've got a lot of sunlight in this state, I'm always wearing these, they function 99% of the time, these are what I go to, no other problems. Um, there's other options out there, but again, I think these are great, great value. I think you've got a lot of benefits, and as I said before, you're looking at goggle features, goggles that a lot of times are going to run you $100, $150, even $200 in a sunglass frame. 2.2 millimeter poly polycarbonate lenses, and people think they're sunglasses. I have to tell them, they don't believe me, but these are shooting glasses and they're very fashionable, they're very stylish, they're very comfortable. I love them and do a little research on them, see if you like them, see what lenses they got and see what you think. But other than that, that is my personal recommendation for shooting sunglasses. The Revision Eyewear Ballistic Hellfly Sunglasses. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate the people that have been subscribing. I know updates are slow and coming, but I'm hoping it'll pick up a little bit in winter time when I've got some time off. And I promise the next review will be of a firearm. I've got a couple cool ones coming up. I'm going to do the my Smith Model 19.5 revolver. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out in my my firearms collection video. And I've got a couple uh, <laughs> a couple. I picked up three Mosin Nagants, and I'm going to talk about those a little bit. And then I also have a special uh, special gun that I'm going to be featuring. It's not in mine. I wish it was. It's a 1911. I can't say anything more than that, but stay tuned. I think you'll really dig it. <laughs>